so today we will be seeing how to deploy a dot in youtube lecture on hsner cloud so we will be using the docker version steps so before we create an account so first what we need to do is i will put this link in the description so you will get a free 20 euro and I will get 10 euro so once you sign up for an account you can open the login to the account and open this URL create a new project you can name it anything as you want and then open the project create a project and click on add server you can choose a location this location depends on your telegram account and board father so that it influences the speed of the uploads to telegram so i will be using you can leave everything the default values you can customize the different options i will just leave everything to default values and then this is the important part you need to add an SSH key to do that press control alt and type ssh key then you can press tab key for auto completion press the location for the ssh key so you can just type any file name You can type any passphrase or leave it empty. So now you can see that two files got created here. So this is your private key and this is your public key. So you can do cat will print the output to the terminal. So this is your public SSH public key. You can right click and copy and then open this thing and paste it here and add the SSH key so you need a, this SSH key to log in to the server that you will be creating and then create so it will take some time in when it is getting created we will just make available what are the mandatory variables that are required to deploy public switch most important tg bot token so to get that you contact bot father and the new bot command name can be anything you want the username should be unique and should end with bot now we put a token now we, a app id api hash if you have seen my previous video this is the app id and api hash and then we need an out channel we just create a new group add the bot that you have created click on create and now you can see it has no access to messages so you need to promote it to admin with all permissions it doesn't need any administrative privileges other than delete messages so you can just click on it doesn't need any permission but you will give it all permission so now you will see that it has access to messages so the group creating part is done and we got all these four variables now we will just see so it is shown server created so we will click on this you can see this IP address we will just copy and go back to the terminal here type such root 
in the IP address, minus size, the private key for authentication. So it will take some time depending on the speed of the internet. If you do not give this primary key, pri private key and title login, mm. it will show some warning like this. So by default it is asking for some password but we don't know the password. But if you use the private key, don't ask for any password. So directly <coughs> log in inside the server. Now what we must do is we should not use the root account for anything. You can read my blog below that I will provide in the description. Uh, so we will create a normal user. Normal user can be created using the create user. You can give any username. I will give my name. It is asking for password. The password will not be printed on the terminal. Mm, you can just type it, assume it has typed and press enter. Full name. Everything you can leave it as blank. So after we do add user, we need to copy paste this command to add it to the folder user. So that's it. So now we can instead of using the root, we can use the our newly created user so it is asking for the password the same password that you gave in this step with a normal user privileges nothing is installed you can check the discrete page since we use a default value that is space may be low but you can use it your satisfied unit so now we will go back to the we are going to use docker so we need to install docker so to install docker we will copy paste these commands so sudo should only be used when it's absolutely necessary you should not just run any random commands using sudo on the commands one by one and press 
Control no left, the back is required. We have installed Docker successfully. Now we will be using something called CatProver, which easily makes a Roku like environment. So you can just deploy the public page in a similar platform like Roku, but you pay for service. So since it is using the exposing the port 80 and 443, it is less than 1024, you need sudo permission.